how's everyone doing today? I hope you are having a fabulous, fabulous, I don't even know what day it is. Oh, it's Thursday, right? Thursday? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> so I'm driving home, <clears throat> and I'm losing my voice. Um, yes, I am West Coast. I used to live on the East Coast, though, West Side. Um, I forgot what day it was, but it is Thursday. Friday's tomorrow. Go into the lake. I'm super stoked. And, um, yeah, because <laughs> it's still daylight out. Yep, that's why. It's only 6.45-ish here. Hey, Texas! Texas is a freaking big-ass state, right? Um, we had to drive through Texas a couple times from uh, coming back from Florida. So, anywho. Um, so, I just want to talk about being a problem solver today. Can you guys hear me okay? I think you can. Oh my gosh, it is so hot here too. It's been raining, thankfully, um, because it's so freaking dry here. So, um, I, with the weather, the weather, the, um, temperatures dropped a little bit, but the humidity has gone up, so it makes it hotter. Um, okay, that being said, I want to talk about being a problem solver today. Um, I see this a lot, like, problems come up in your business, problems come up in your life, and <clears throat> you end up just kind of quitting or not continuing forward because of that. So, um, perfect example, today I was at a party. Now, first problem we solved, this girl doesn't have money to join our business. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna solve her problem. I'm gonna make a party for her. We're gonna have a party to help her get the money to start her business. We're gonna sell some wraps and use that money to get her started. So that's the first problem we solved. Second problem we solved today. <clears throat> I go to the party, no one shows up. So I could have easily walked out and left and been ticked off that I just drove an hour and 15 minutes round trip, wasted my gas, but I didn't because now I am teaching her that no matter who does or doesn't come, she's important to me. So, we solved the problem of people not being there by te texting and calling people. And I sat there and I helped her do that. So, <clears throat> I gave her a little script and I just we just sent it to people and said, Hey, um, guys and gals, I'm starting my new health and wellness business. I'd love to get your feedback and help in trying one of the main products so I can start giving people testimonials of people that I no, it'd be $25 to try one of these skin tightening body wraps and you'd be, really be helping me out. <clears throat> um, any chance you'd, I, any chance you'd be willing to give it a try? Here's what it has done for some of my friends, friends. And then she'd send like a couple of pictures. So she just texted it to like 20 people and she's got, she's like setting up appointments now guys. So Granted, it did not go as, as perfectly expected, right? Um, but what we did is we solved a problem. We got creative. We thought outside of the box and said, how are we gonna, how are we gonna get over this issue? How are we gonna get over this hump? The next thing I did is I gave her some blitz cards and I said, I want you to laminate one of these, wear it around your neck, put it around your purse and put ask me in big bold letters on the back. So people ask you about it. That's the next thing I want you to do. I'm gonna give you some extras too. When you blitz them, when you give this coupon, you you get their name and number. You say, have you heard of it? Would you like a coupon for it? Any way I can send you, you know, my results or my friend's results or get your text number to enter you into our monthly drawing. So I gave her those ideas. And then I gave her my YouTube channel that has trainings on it. And I said, I want you to go through these and start getting some ideas of your own of how you can build this business. And so um, those are just different problems we solved. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the next thing I want you to think about in terms of being a problem solver is being a problem solver for your clients. Okay. So I love, love, love Snapchat now. But no matter what social media you are on, if you need to listen, listen to other people, what other people are saying. Whether you're on social media, whether you're in person around people, there's people complaining all around you about stress, anxiety, money, 
joint pain, weight, energy levels, um, have, I mean, so many, all the different things that we, we have things to help people with. So keep your ears open, keep your eyes open. Um, for example, today on Snapchat, um, I was scrolling through the Snapchat because I don't want to just be posting and not looking at other people's stories. Same on Facebook, same on Instagram. I just can't post all day long and not love on other people's stuff. When you love on other people's stuff, the eyes get turned to you, okay? So <clears throat> I'm scrolling through Snapchat today and I'm scrolling, or not scrolling, I'm clicking basically, for those of you who know Snapchat, and a girl puts up on her Snapchat, I thought I had my anxiety under control. I guess I was wrong. So what do you guys think I did? Anyone wanna take a guess? You gotta give me some hearts if you wanna know what I did. I wanna see some hearts if you really wanna know. Okay, so on the bottom of everyone's Snapchat, as long as they're following you back, there's a thing that says chat. <clears throat> so I click that chat and it shows her the message, it shows her the, the snap that she took <clears throat> and then my reply. Yes, confianza. So what I said to her without being super salesy is I said, hey girl, I am so sorry to hear this. That's my feel. I have felt the same way in the past. It's an issue that runs in my family. My sisters felt the same way. I have found something that really has worked for us. Feel felt found. Would it be okay to send you some information on it? I didn't go, I'm a distributor with It Works Global. I, we are a health, beauty, and wellness business. I have this wonderful Confianza product and it will change your life. Like that's so salesy. All I said is, can I send you some information to see if you, you might think it help, might help you. Use the word help. Use the word, word feel. Use the word felt, found. I feel felt found for you and I'd like to help you would it be okay to send you some information? So it's as simple as that. Now think of all the different times you hear people bitching and moaning about different things that you can help and take what I've said here and put that into practice. Go through your Facebook, search for keywords like <coughs> tired. Search for keywords and it'll pull up posts of your friends saying they're so tired or broke or Crohn's or IBS or, you know, I mean, they're not gonna talk about poop problems on Facebook, but you can search those things. And um, you can search those hashtags on Instagram and find people that are the same. And then you can keep your ears open out and about for people complaining about that in their everyday life. It's all about helping people. It's all about being a friend and, and using that word help. So, um, I hope that's helped everyone. That's just, you know, you gotta be a problem solver. There is nothing in my mind that can't be solved. So if you want to make it to the top, you just have to solve the problem. If my business is down, that's a problem. Last month, my business was down. And I'm like, that is a problem. What am I going to do? What am I going to change? What am I going to learn in order to change that? That's the mentality you want to have, guys. Otherwise, blaming other people for the lack of your success is not going to get you anywhere. So become a problem solver. If you have debt, you gotta solve it. If you feel like you don't have enough time, you gotta solve it. I mean, <clears throat> analyze what you're doing and change those actions to solve it. All right, guys, I wanna see everyone be problem solvers. I hope this has helped you guys. If you feel it was helpful, swipe to the right, click, click share with all your followers, or you can also click copy link and you can paste the link to this Periscope into your team pages um, to kind of help your team in understanding what this business is about or in group messages or whatever. So. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the hearts. I appreciate you. Have a great, great rest of your night. Bye.